Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for getting back on. Thank you so much for getting back on. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being so patient. All right, all right. We're gonna get some time for some people to come on. Thank you for being patient. I know it's 935 and people has to get to work and different things like that. So I won't be too much long, but I will continue to be strong. All right, all right. Let's see if we can get some more people on real quick. All right, okay, they're coming on in, coming on in. All right, all right, coming right on in. Yes, yes, just a couple more people. I think we're missing maybe about five people. Okay, I'm gonna mute the lines. Okay, yes, coachable. Y'all already coming in, muting the lines. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let me reach back in the chat. And let them know we're gonna be starting. Okay, we're gonna be starting. We starting. Again, hop back on. I got about 10, 15 minutes. Cause I have to hop on to another call. All right, you guys. So um, <clears throat> I'm not sure who the gentleman was that was speaking, um, but are you here again? <laughs> he was asking me a question. I'm not sure who that was. Are you here? I'm not sure who that was that asked the question. Um, the guy who just asked the last question, are you on, are you on here? No, he's not up here, coach. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're going to give it, we're going to, well, I'll wait for him to come back on and then we'll, we'll reevaluate that question. Um, is he on, is he back on? Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go back on my cell phone. I let my own self in. Okay. Can y'all still hear me? Can y'all still hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Yeah, amazing. 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 Thank you so much. All right, so we're going right back. <clears throat> okay, so just let me know whenever the young man gets back on here to ask the question. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and push forward. So let's talk about how to put the trade in. Okay, we know how to open up a demo account. We did that, right? We know that these are different Forex pairs. This is the Australian dollar against the U.S. dollar. Y'all don't really need to know all those because we're just showing you guys how to place a trade. We're just showing you like how to like put it in the cell phone, right? So you don't really got to really know too much what this is, but basically it's the Australian dollar against the US dollar, the Euro against the USD. And you guys, I didn't know nothing about this about two years ago, two and a half years. I didn't know nothing about this. I was never able to spout off this. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not downplaying myself, but when it comes to like, Book smart, that wasn't me. <laughs> Street smart, yeah. Book smart, eh, nah. So don't think that you gotta be super smart to get this, cause baby, I probably wouldn't even be here, right? <laughs> so um, let's talk about how to enter a trade, All right? Let's talk about how to enter a trade. I think he just got on. So here's our fancy group, right? Let's find one. Let's do this one. So you get a you get something like this in the group. You're like, oh my gosh, this looks Chinese. What is this? <laughs> right? You're like, this looks Chinese. What is this? Right? Let me show you how to break this down. So the first thing is this is the pair. So we want to identify this pair. This is really gold. This is what this stands for is gold, right? But we want to identify this pair, right? So what we do is we go back to the little cute app. We're going to look for it. Okay, we're going to look for it. La, 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 la. Uh-oh. I can't find it. 
And sometimes it's a little glitchy too, y'all. Like right now it's uh hold on, it's a little glitchy, a little glitch. See if I can choose one of my other brokers. So sometimes you gotta play with it, y'all. It's a little glitchy. All right, so I'm gonna look for this pair. There it go. But guess what? If I couldn't find it, where would I go? Somebody come off mute. If I couldn't find this pair, where would I go to find it? Plus, you would have to go to um, you'd have to leave this page and you'd have to press or you have to press plus at the top, and then you'd have to go to the magnifying glass and then you'd have to type it in at the top, and then it should pop up. There you go. There you go. Somebody paying attention. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you so much for sharing. So the pair is here. Now, if you have an iPhone, it's going to say trade, I think. If you got an Android like me, it's going to say new order. But it's the same thing, right? So I open it. Boom. We at this screen right here, right? Now, we will tell you guys, it, now if you got an iPhone, it says instant execution or it says instant or something like that up there, right? So we're gonna, if we say, if we say buy now or sell now, that's not a, that's different from buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop. So you don't have to ask, is it a sell stop? No, if we didn't tell you it was, it's nine times out of 10, it's a, it's a market execution. I'm not going to really get too deep on what that means right now. I may go over some of it in some of the training that we do, but tonight I'm not going to get too deep on what that means, okay? So let's go back to the app. Okay, so Zach said it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's, it's that pair. Don't really worry about the time frame. Don't worry about the time frame. And nine times out of 10, when I put the, Put it in there. I may not put the time frame because I don't want to confuse y'all, but you don't have to worry about the time frame, okay? Now, the next line we're going to go to, it says order type. It's a buy, market, execution, right? So I know it's a buy. So you don't got to say, well, is it buy or sell? We already telling you it's a buy, right? So you don't have to worry about the entry price because it's a buy. And um, if I have some of my traders on here, you guys, maybe we can make it so simplified for them that when we do put the, the trades in there, that we don't even put entry or put time frame because it may just confuse them, okay, traders? So um, so we're going to go straight to the uh, stop loss, okay? So I'm going to go straight to my app. Now, write this down, 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 write it down. <laughs> I know somebody going to ask. If you have an Android, the red line right here is where your stop loss is going to be. So if you money makers or note takers, so I hope you guys are writing this down and not trying to remember it from what I'm just saying, because I talk fast, right? Money makers or note takers, okay? So what goes right here in the red line, y'all? What goes right here? What's that word called? What, what go right here? Stop loss. Stop loss. And if you got an iPhone, what does it say? Stop loss. So y'all don't even got to think. Lucky iPhone users, right? So I'll go back to the app, cell phone app. It says stop loss, 1693. I'll go right on back to the app. 1693. Bada boom, bada bang. Just like that. That's it. I go back. Take profit. That's this. Now it's two of them. I'm going to explain, but let's just focus, focus on the one. Now, sometimes you may see us put in a group TP, but TP is abbreviation for take profit. There's no difference. Sometimes we just get a little lazy. We don't want to write it all out. So if you ever see us put SL, that's just stop loss. If you ever see us put TP, that's just take profit. That's all, right? So the take profit is 1708. I'm going back to my good old app. Where do y'all think I'm going to put the 1708? What color y'all think I'm going to put that on? Blue. It's green. Green. That's green right there. Okay. 1708. And if you got to, uh, so let's, let's repeat it again. Android users, red line, stop loss. 
Green line, take profit. Red line, stop loss. Green line, take profit. If you got a, if you got an apple, it tells you straight up. Now I'll go back. Now, did he say this was a buy or a sell, y'all? Did I say buy or sell? What'd I do? What'd I do? You buy it. Buy it. Bada bing, bada boom. Guess what I do? Boop. Look at that. Look at that. I'm in the market. I'm in the live market. Now, I want you guys to know, this is demo money, meaning, meaning it's not your real money. However, this is a live market. It got a little froze. I don't know what's going on. Uh-uh, what happened? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, that was a little glitchy. One second. Hmm. Now, sometimes it do act a little glitchy, y'all. Y'all know they got that 5G cracking. Hold on. Hold on. Let me find that pair again. Wait a minute, y'all. Get Hold on. 5G tri tripping out, y'all. Hold on. There you go. All right. I'm just going to hit bye. Okay, cool beans. So, although this is, um, although this is demo money, this is a live market. So that means if you would, the same results that you're going to get from this demo money, mm, excuse me, can be the same results you would get with your real money. Why, are we, why aren't we doing it with real money? Because we don't want y'all to practice with real money. And then you'll be gambling. Then y'all be looking at us sideways, right? So look, I'm already in profit. Look at that. Look at that. You see it moving? Look at that. I didn't turn 10 cent into 19 cent. It's moving. It's moving right now. It's fluctuating. It's normal for this to happen. Blue season. <laughs> Somebody said blue season. Oh, and it's back down again. It is back up. That's what it do. Let it do it, right? So when you first get in the market, ooh, baby, it's moving. Ooh, let me put my take profit in here. Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. It's moving. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me put my let me put my uh take profit in there. It's uh seventeen oh eight. Seventeen oh eight. What was the stop loss again? Y'all remember? Sixteen ninety three. Thank you. Okay, cool. So um. So basically, it's no difference. So what you're looking at is a, what you're looking at. Why I keep tripping like that? Can y'all see my screen still? Okay, y'all can see it. Okay, that's the computer. So what you're looking at, y'all, is um, is basically ten cent into sixty cent, ten cent to seventy. It's moving. It's fluctuating, right? But here's the thing: everybody got ten cent right now. But I bet you that your 10 cent can't do magic tricks like how we doing with our 10 cent. This is what we're saying, growing money. Y'all get the point now? Growing money? We're growing money. I already didn't flip 10 cent into 63 cents. So once you put the trade in, you don't gotta watch it all day. Why? Because I got my stop loss and I got my take profit. So what we're looking, what we're waiting for is, y'all see that line that say TP? That's my take profit. I'm waiting on these candles to go all the way up to this little dotted line. And when it does, it's gonna knock me out the trade. I'm gonna cash out, right? But if it goes the opposite way, cause we're not gonna win them all. We're not. Not even a master trader wins all trades. But the thing is, we wanna win more than we lose. Right. And so a stop loss is your safety net. It's your risk factor. So let's just suppose I'm saying, hey, when this candle goes here, I'm looking to make sixty dollars. But if the but if it goes the opposite way and starts falling, it will hit my stop loss. And instead of it, it's I mean, so basically, like it will hit my stop loss. And let's just say I only want to risk five dollars on this trade. Then if it hits the stop loss, only five dollars is minus for my account. 
versus if I didn't have this stop loss and the market just kept going, come on, cell phone. And the market just kept going, um, and the market just kept going down and down and down and down. Then my money will keep going down and down and down and down. So that's why I had this stop loss here. Okay. So let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay. So remember, when you enter the trade, it's normal for the trade to be in red. It's normal for the trade to go from red to blue to up to down. That's just how the market does. Okay. But let's do another example, y'all. Let's do one more. And then I'm going to take some questions and I'm going to have y'all on your merry way. Right? So here we go one. Now, nine times out of 10, this is how we're going to start putting it in the group. We're going to put it so plain in the group for y'all, just like this. So you only got to focus on the pair, if it's a sell or if it's a buy, and if it's a take profit. Now, if, it's, if it says take profit one and take profit two, what does that mean, Isis? That means that you can enter in the market again with the same trade and the, sell, that, and the, sell, the second time, you would just put the second take profit in, right? And if it says take profit three, then you can enter again for the third time and put the third take profit in. That's all that means, right? So let's look at this one. This one, this one already came in a group, so it already happened, but I'm still going to use it for demonstrations purposes, okay? So it was E-U-R-A-U-D. Okay, and that's uh, Europe versus Australian dollar. Boop, there it go. Man, what broker is this? This thing is tripping out. That fix choice. Oh, wow. Does any of my traders have FX choice and it's been tripping out for y'all today? This is really tripping out right now. Hold on, family. Oh, snap. Did I put that in my real account? Hold on. Okay. And sometimes it be, it, you'll get little glitches, y'all. So just have patience. You might got to go out and come back in, right? But let's look at this. So euro, so it says sale. They're going to take profit. Let me tell you how lazy I am, y'all. Sometimes I'll just copy it and I'll put it right here. And then I'll literally just do like this. Like this is how lazy I am. This is what we mean, copy, paste, profit. So I take the uh, take profit, I put it there, I come back. Look at that, straight lazy, lazy money. I made that lazy money. And guess what? They said it's a sale. Boop, I'm not gonna do it because this was old. So I'm not gonna place it because we already made the money. But all I would have to do is hit the, the, the sale button. And then it will what? It'll go back to that screen that y'all seen before. So in the essence, you guys, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one more before I take questions. I got one more call to get on. So let's talk about up here. So if I say, hey, y'all, it's a buy limit, then you'll go up here. you click buy limit. If I say, hey, y'all, it's a sell limit, so on and so forth. So let's do a practice, buy limit. Now, the only thing different about this is instead of putting two numbers in, you're now gonna put three numbers in, right? So let's let's talk about it. 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 All right. So normally, if we do, if we say it's a limit or a stop, we'll, you'll, you, this is when you will use entry. This is when you will see the word entry slash price. Some people may say price. Some people may say entry. So write that down in your piece of paper. If entry and price means the same thing, somebody just might say, hey, here's the entry. Somebody might say, hey, here's the price, but it's the same thing, no difference, right? So entry price. So what we would do is y'all see where it say price. Now, if you got an uh, Apple, yours may look slightly different. I'm not really sure, I don't have an Apple, 
But um, anybody got an apple? Zach, you got an apple? Yes, I do. And what does yours say right there? For price. Oh, yours say price too? Or are you asking where is this, what does it say for price? Yeah, yeah. When you do like your limits and your stops. I barely do those anymore, so let me check. <laughs> uh, yeah, it says price. Okay, cool. So everybody's tracking. All, both phones. Thank you, Zach. So you'll just put the price number there. Whatever it is. Whatever we tell you it is. Boop, 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 boop. You just put it in, right? And um, since this is a practice, it's normally supposed to light up. Normally, you're supposed to push it. But since my numbers are, that's how you know your numbers is wrong. If you can't push the place button, you know you got, you got to switch your numbers around. Something ain't right. Something wrong. If that ain't, that's why I can't place it because, of course, it already made the move. Sheesh. It already made the move. So that's why you can't see it. Now, the last thing I'll touch on and I'll take questions is this part. I'm going to put a video in there for y'all to study what this means, but this is lot size. So this is a 10 cent lot. This is a 20 cent lot. What does that mean, Isis? What is a lot? Basically, this is a 20 cent bid. So if the market went up 100 points, then I would do 20, 20 cent times 100. And whatever that amount is, that's how much money I would have cashed out with, right? So don't get too, you don't got to get too deep on it. Like I said, you ain't got to get too deep on it, but I do want to let you guys what this means. This means 20 cent, that means 30 cent, 40 cent, 50 cent, 60 cent, 70 cent, 80 cent, 90 cent, a dollar, a dollar and 10, a dollar and 12, so on and so forth. Y'all get the gist, right? So it's basically like you just moving this decimal over and placing it right there. That's what makes it a dollar 20, dollar 30. A dollar forty, and so on and so forth. So play around with the lot sizes, play around with it, get crazy with it, see it, see the different amounts, see how it looks with ten cents, see how it looks with a dollar forty, see how it looks with ten dollars, right? Play around with it, okay? Um, I think it was one more important thing I had to tell y'all: lot size, lot size. Mmm, dang, it was on the tip of my tongue. Ooh, I can't think about it right now. I think I've been on so many calls today. I just can't think right now. So um, does anybody have any questions? I have a question about um, the trades. So you know how you guys put in the trades in the group or whatever, but like who is calling these trades? Like who who's the one that's saying like put your money here and do all of that? Like who's doing that? Well, we're doing the analysis. So we're getting it from different sources. So I may be on the market. Right. Hold on. Let me stop sharing real quick. So I may be on the market and I may be looking at something and I may be like, oh, this is a good trade to get in. Y'all go ahead and get into it. So the educators of the community is um, putting the trades in there or also I'm going to show you all behind the scenes of a cheat sheet. Or also we have something called signal groups. Right. Where basically this is my community in here. So basically I have a whole bunch of traders in here. So if one of my traders is trading and they see something, look, then I just come over here and I copy it and then I put it in the money app group for y'all. But nine times out of 10, it's coming from us or it's coming from some of our educators that are making 100K, 200K, 300K. Because I'm not making 100K, right? I'm going to be very transparent with y'all. I'm not making 100K yet, right? So, um... So yeah, so we get it from the educators or or our own analysis. So, quick question for you: So, how how do they find the pairs themselves? What you mean? Like how how do you like the signals or how how do they recognize which is the good pair? Oh, because we know how to trade. You get what I'm saying? You could use any pair. You can do any pair you want to do. It's just about analyzing the market like right here like this may look chinese to y'all right now but i've been doing this for a while so i know what's going on so basically i'm on the market i'm looking i'm like hmm this is looking like a good setup let me go ahead and put this in the in the money app group so that's basically how by by analyzing the chart 
Okay, and are, are we going to go over that, like analyze and charge and, and look at any of those topics? Yep, on some of the classes that we have. We're going to do our best to break it down because remember, in this seven days, we can't give you all of Forex. It just, it, it just wouldn't work. That would be a lot of work to break everything down for y'all, you know? So what we're going to do is do our best to break stuff down for you guys. But, um, oh, man, this might be going back up, Zach, unless it breaks this. But, um, but yeah, so we're going to do our best to break it down with you guys. Uh, the best of our ability, but there's no way in the world we can teach y'all all of Forex in seven days. It would be. One more would, question. Yes. Um, so with the buying and the selling, are we buying um, whatever currency that um, that we're that, that that whatever pair that is, we're buying that, and we're selling American dollars? Is that what that is, or what is that? Yeah, so basically it's like the, the British pound against the Japanese dollar or the American dollar against the Euro European dollar. So it's like one is weak and one is strong. So we're trading against them. Just like when the young man said he went to Mexico and he took the American money and he gave it to them for peso, he got more money back because the American dollar was stronger than the peso. So when he exchanged it, he got a better value. So that's all we're doing. We're just exchanging one currency for the other currency based off the value. Um, I have a question. Sure. So um, I'm from Israel and the our currency over there is a shekel and it's usually like 350 to the dollar. Um, with this, can you just go in there and see, say, for example, I sent some dollars to my mom. Based on what is on the market right now, will she get the same value as what I'm, what I'm seeing in the market? Yeah, because it's the live exchange. So whatever the exchange rate is, yes. Now, I would say, though, it's the live exchange, but what I did notice is that when I do travel, people can change their exchanges, like in their uh, in their country, they can like kind of change it, change the exchanges. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it it doesn't it doesn't work like that over there. Whatever the exchange rate is, it's, it stays that way. It may change, you know, from day to day. But if I sent her something today, if I sent her a hundred dollars today or something like that, and it's I think the highest it's ever been is like four to the dollar it'll gotcha. stay there and it may it may change you know it may stay the same for a week or a month but you know it all depends got you so yeah you'll be able to see the exchange rate on here okay thank you you're welcome uh, my question is while you were explaining um how to place orders recently uh, there were folders that actually showed up on yours but i discovered that mine's is just one folder which is forex so i would like to know the reason why i have what looks like a less folder lesser folder than opposed to yours yeah so don't get too hung up on the folders as long as you can go into the search bar and find the pair you're good the reason why is probably because you open your brokerage account up with fx choice and i open mine up with hugo's way so if you would like to you can open up another demo and you can open up the demo with hugo's way so certain brokers just allow you to trade certain things but even with the broker you still have even if you don't see the folder you still should be able to go to the magnifying glass and still search the pair so you didn't do anything. Okay. So question about um, the, the, the stop loss and the take profit. Um, those numbers, is that is that an analysis where you get those numbers from as well? Yep, exactly. So for example, right now I'm waiting on this trade right now. Um, I'm waiting on this trade to sell down. So... You see what this green line is? If you go over to my right, it says 131.950. That would be my take profit. 
If you look at this red line right here and you go over to the right, okay, yeah, we're going to have to be done with 10 minutes on this one. If you go over to the right, it says 132.559. That's my stop loss. So I, I analyzed this chart, and this is the numbers I came up with. And, and the question, so when I looked at my chart, I didn't have, like, those specific lines. So are you, do we have to, like, create those ourselves? Um, and then, then we have a working chart? Or they come automatically? Or is no, there's another site that come automatically? Uh-uh. This is just like a big old, this is like a big old adult coloring book. Look at this. We basically getting paid to color and draw. Now, I get paid to color. <laughs> so this is how it looks, blank. Then I can come over here. And I can color, and I can put any color I want, and I can make it pink, and then I can come over here, and then I can draw, like, these diagonal lines. So, yeah, you, you do all this. And this is when it comes from um, your, char your chart analysis. Gotcha. But, yeah, yeah, you're drawing it. Like, we're literally getting paid to color. Like, seriously. <laughs> Great questions. I love y'all questions. Anybody else? So when you are trading, say for instance, euro to British pound, as you have in, as an example, uh -huh. that British pound is that your money now is in British pounds. Yes, it's the British pounds, but my money is not actually in it because I'm not actually holding on to the currency. So whenever I put my money in my brokerage account, it's still American. The broker is the one that's doing the conversion rate. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh -huh. I'm going to put something in a group, too, for y'all to study, base versus uh, quote pair, so y'all can kind of understand. Uh, let me see, base versus quote currency. I'm going to drop something in the group for y'all so y'all can kind of get a little bit more understanding on the whole two currency thing. I can take about two questions, you guys, and I'm, I'm, I got to hop on this leadership call. Um, I have a question. You said something about furthering our um, education about this once the seven days is up. Um, how much is, will that cost? Uh, join the Wednesday call at 8 o'clock, and we're going to be covering all of that, how it works, how it looks, and how it costs. Okay. Great question. Great question. I just dropped, some, I just dropped something in there for y'all to kind of learn some uh, i have a question again how how easy is it to to cash out especially for those who are not living in the united states of america that's a great question um it all depends on your broker um each broker operates different um but uh you can just get it transferred into your bank i mean me personally i like to get my money transferred on cash app through bitcoin so what country are you in um, in Africa. Do, do, do you guys got cash app out there? Of course, of course. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, yeah, you can get it actually, um, you can get it actually to your cash app or, or your bank account, just depending on the broker. But we have people all around the world doing this. So, um, so I can also, you know, I'm not in Africa, so I don't exactly know which broker people use, but I can definitely find that out for you when it comes time to. Oh, I love that. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Y'all can take about two more, two more. No more questions? I feel like somebody coming off mute. They want to say something. I want to say thank you. Thank you so very much for your time and for inviting us to the seven day trial. I appreciate it. You are welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's definitely my way of, like I said, tithing back me and the G12 community. So if you guys don't got anything else, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. It has. Been I, I have, I have one more question. <laughs> do you, do you, I'm sorry. I okay. have, uh, I have teenagers. Okay. Um, do you have to be a certain age in order to do this? Oh, is Tra is uh Tracy on the phone? I think she hopped off. Well, no, you don't. I was asking for yeah. I was asking for Tracy because okay, so technically to make a account, 
you know, you can co-sign for your kids, but we got people, we got kids 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11 learning this. I was calling on Tracy because Tracy has a nine-year-old son and Tracy is teaching her uh -huh. son how to do this. So, um, yeah, it doesn't, you don't have to be no age. I mean, but to sign up and have their own account, you'll have to co-sign for them, of course. But I remember... Okay. Yeah, I remember I met this boy. He was 15. I didn't know he was 15 at the time because his mind was just put different. So when I met him, he was 15. And I met him again two years later. And I was having a conversation with him. And I didn't know his age until I asked him about a movie. I was like, have you seen The Sixth Cent? You don't remember that movie? He was like, The Sixth Cent? I was like, how old are you? <laughs> he was like 17. I said, oh, my God, I met you when you were 15? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you don't have to be any age. All the education is the same. Okay. Hey Isis, um, to add on to that, I'm at, I actually just uh, opened up a demo account for my little brother as well. He's 10 years old and he already knew what the pairs were before even watching any Academy videos. So a lot of times, you know, our younger siblings or our younger children, they'll get it before we do. Yes, 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 yes. Amazing family. Well, this has been my time, you guys. This has been my time. I'm about to cool it on down. I got to get on the eight o'clock call tomorrow and show y'all how to make money before work. Uh, this call will be recorded. Please give me some time to upload it. Y'all know this G5 or 5G been acting crazy. So my internet is a little slow. But as soon as I get it uploaded, I will drop it in the group for you guys. And I look forward to seeing some of you guys uh, tomorrow. We may do a bonus session. It's called the Smart Money TV session. We may do that tomorrow on Wednesday. I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know the time. But I will probably be showing y'all behind the scenes of the school. And one of the channels that we watch is called Smart Money TV. So we'll talk about that on Wednesday. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys at the beaches when they open back up and the banks all around the world. Peace and love, fam. Peace. Peace. <laughs>